Oh, Bungie. Bungie, Bungie, Bungie. It seems every time Bungie's in the news for something these days, it's not for anything good. And this time, with their new event called The Dawning, a lot of fans are upset. It's pretty much backfired. It's been called a loot box cash grab. And we're going to talk about that right now. What is going on, guys? Randall Thor 19 the man with the million, back again with another video. Before we get started, as always, I just want to plug my last video where I go over all the 500 games on sale for the Xbox Live Countdown sale. Tons of games that you can get for super cheap, whether you want them for yourself or you can digital gift them. Um, check that video out when you got the time. And this video is dedicated to the one and only Silva, my good buddy. I wouldn't have made this video, but he wanted it. He wanted me to make a video about Bungie and Destiny 2, and I am happy to oblige my good friend. Now, I haven't played Destiny 2 since I finished the campaign and did the raid. I put about 50 hours into it. I enjoyed my time with it. I enjoyed uh, the campaign. I enjoyed the raid. But that was it for me. I never planned on playing it more. And I know people who play this game religiously every single day. Uh, you know, they're really addicted to the great combat the game offers. You know, the shooting and things like that. Uh, but that never was for me. I was going to get in. I was going to get out. But it's always interesting sitting on the sidelines watching Destiny 2 and what Bungie's kind of doing with the Eververse and all these different things unfold. They've constantly been in in a bunch of trouble this year, a whole bunch of different scandals, and this one is just the latest one, this new event where they, you know, deck the tower out in like festive lights for the holidays and things like that. But there's something fishy, something wrong in the world of Destiny 2. And there's something wrong with Bungie. Honestly, these days, Bungie, it's like watching an athlete you used to admire. He used to be really good. Like Derrick Rose, for example. Uh, I, I loved watching Derrick Rose play. You know, every single time he'd suit up for the Chicago Bulls, I'd be glued to my TV set. And then he got injured, and then he got worse every single year. And it was just like, you got to that point where like, just retire, Derrick. You don't have it anymore. Now, with Bungie, they used to be my favorite developer. Any game they would put out, I would buy day one and love. You know, all the Halo games and whatnot. But with Destiny 2 and each scandal from Destiny 1 to Destiny 2, I've seen my favorite developer kind of become that aging superstar. Except they're not breaking down because of old age. They're just breaking down because of pure greed and the lack of compassion they show towards their fan base gets apparent every single time. Now this one, the reason why people are upset about the dawning is because it's this new holiday event. Uh, there's a whole bunch of new collectibles, uh, engrams you, you can get that have uh, you know n new ghosts, uh, new things for you know your ship, uh, different emotes, all bunch of holiday themed armor. For Destiny, and that's kind of the meta for Destiny 2 now. It's like you collect these, uh, you know, uh, ornaments and, and, and things to make your character, you know, stand out. That, like, that is the kind of what you're playing Destiny 2 for. But normally when you level up in the game and you earn a Bright Ingram, you, would, you get rewarded. And in most other games like Overwatch that have seasonal events as well, they include these seasonal items, seasonal cosmetics in the pool. But not Destiny. They don't do that. So when you earn a Bright Ingram from leveling up, normally you're not going to get any of these special dawning cosmetic items. The only way you can get them is uh, either by buying them outright with Bright Dust or buying them with money for silver. You can get, I think, three free per week or maybe it's four. One for doing a whole bunch of stuff. Not really key, but you can get... A few per week, but it's a it's a time seasonal event. You only have a certain amount of time uh, to get all the things that you want. And once the event's over, well, you can't get them anymore, right? And people are really upset about the fact that you know leveling up doesn't get you uh, any of this stuff. So you gotta kind of and it's tied to your account. So like you can get three free per week, uh, but you can only do it once per account. You can't do it once per character. So a lot of the fans of Bungie, a lot of the fans of Destiny 2 are looking at this and they just see it as a pure loot box 
cash grab. Um, yeah, like I said, the other option is Donning Ingrams, which can be earned from the gift somatics available through Ikora, but those are limited to one per day, which means that even without repeats or missing a day, you're not going to have the opportunity to get everything. And even if you did, not all Donning items are available through gifts. And of course, you can buy some of them here. Uh, this guy said that since Destiny Q came out, he's managed to collect just shy of 1,500 Bright Dust, which is just enough to buy the Winter Chest chest armor, which goes for 1,200 Bright Dust bright dust but then of course there's helmets gauntlets capes and all this stuff here uh, of course you can purchase silver and this is where they want you to do they want you to buy silver uh, you can buy all the stuff with silver and you know it's five dollars for 500 or 10 for a thousand the thing is you never know what you're gonna get you know with loot boxes so you buy one thing and you may not get what you want so you got to keep on buying more until you get what you want so who knows how much money you're gonna have to spend now the thing is the problem with this is that every, this whole year has been nothing but scandal after scandal right the dlc came out and they removed things from the main game so if you had bought the game main game but not the dlc you couldn't do the prestige raid you couldn't do the prestige nightfall you couldn't do some of the core missions right People bitched and complained. Bungie was like, oh, we hear you. Sorry, something slipped through the cracks and we changed it. And then they changed it back, right? But then there was a whole XP scandal where the game was lying to you about how much XP you were getting because presumably they wanted to throttle how fast you could earn Bright Ingrams because if you were earning them at a slower rate, you'd be maybe more inclined to buy Bright Ingrams. But... You know, they weren't transparent about that. The game was lying to you. They were lying to you. And, you know, they were like, oh, it's not working as intended. Blah, 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 blah. We'll fix it. Blah, 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 blah. The thing is, all this stuff here, they are lying to your faces. It's been proven once again. And finally, with the dawning, it's just exemplified even more. Bungie has no respect for its fan base. They just view everybody who plays Destiny 2 as disposable cash machines. Every time a scandal comes out, every time something happens and the community gets upset, Bungie comes out, oh, we're, we're, we'll be more transparent. We'll take your feedback into account and, and we'll change it. It's not working as intended, especially with the XP uh, thing that <laughs> was happening, right? But the thing is, this is all working as intended. This is what Bungie had planned. The DLC came out, they always intended to remove stuff from the base game so you would be more inclined to buy the DLC. Of course they were throttling the XP so you'd be more inclined to spend money at the Eververse to buy the Ingrams. Of course the dawning stuff isn't, you know, in the pool for the upgrade, you know, when you level up to get the Ingrams because they want you to spend money to get it. It is exactly working how Bungie intended it. So when they say, oh, it's not working as we intended it, they're only saying that because they constantly get caught and have to reverse course. They are lying to people. And I mean, hopefully more and more people catch on to the money-grubbing ways that is basically Bungie. And I know, I mean, people will say, well, Rand, you know, they're a company that got to make money somehow. And that's true. You know, they are here to make money, but there's right ways to do it and there's wrong ways to do it. You know, uh, lying through your teeth about the XP stuff, I would consider to be a wrong way. Removing basic features from a game you purchased in September only to then remove those basic features three months later is the wrong way, right? Putting and gating all the da dawning cosmetic items into... You know, the free things, but not putting them in the pool of the regular level ups. That's the wrong way to do these type of things, right? There's always a right way and a wrong way. And Bungie has just been on the wrong way for this since, I don't know, they hooked up with Activision. I don't know what it is. They just been, became so money-grubbing greedy ever since they left Microsoft and stopped doing Halo. And it's like I don't even recognize my favorite developer anymore. It's it's disgusting. It's honestly disgusting. Um, <laughs> and I had to include this right here with uh, Goliath, and I thought this was pretty funny, so I'm going to play this right here. That's why. Because one of these things is purchased, and one of these things is a gift. One of these things is a gift 
from the game to you, but Bungie, Bungie is, Bungie is so hellbent on you spending money on Eververse that they won't give you seven fucking dust! For <laughs> See, the thing he was talking about there was some of the one-time shader use, right? How they, Bungie changed the shaders, so instead of just, you can use it as many times as you want, you can only use it once per per you know like use it's single time use uh there there's like <laughs> you can get a gift from my core with a shader and then there's a shader you can get from an ingram but instead of combining it in the pool in your vault space they're separate stacks but you can only have so many things in your vault because there's not a lot of space so it's like well why are you l taking up space for clearly the same thing but the free one you get from my gives you legendary shards and the ones you get uh, from the Eververse, uh, gives you bright dust. So they, they clog up your inventory space, right? <laughs> Forcing you to, to basically either use it and then try to get it again. And, and like I said, it's one-time use for the shaders. And these are holiday-themed, right? And you can only get them from this, like, one-month period. And once you use them, it's gone. And because you can't get them again, once you use them, you can never have them again. It's it's just a total money-grabbing pyramid scheme. And, you know, the, the faster people realize this and get out from Destiny 2, the better. I know, I know the game can be addictive. I'm addicted to PUBG right now. Destiny 2's got some great gameplay, some great gunplay. But it's always been a hollow game. There's nothing there. There's no substance. It is just a cash grab by Activision and Bungie and with all this stuff with everything we've heard from this year all the scandals they've been in you should realize that by now that Bungie doesn't respect you if you're a Destiny fan all they care about is what is in your wallet that is what they want and they'll whisper sweet lies to you over and over about how it wasn't supposed to be this way something went wrong down the road but everything proves that it was exactly and the way they intended it. They don't care about you. They just want your money. And the faster you realize this, the better off you'll be. So just stop playing Destiny 2. And everything will be great. Screw Brungie. I'll probably never play another Destiny game. I just, I just can't. I just can't. Anyways, guys, that is the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope Silva enjoyed it as well. Because this one is for you, buddy. Uh, stop playing Destiny 2. Uh, and get on that PUBG, PUBG train. Or you know what? Play some other games for Gamerscore. Stop playing Destiny 2. It's not worth it. And tell Hish, it's not worth it. Get off Destiny 2. Anyways, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button if you did. Uh, consider subscribing for more content if you want to. And I'll see everybody in the next video. Later, guys.